What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. With the recent emergence of the pick from Yellow Star in the EU LCS, I think Trundle's support has proven to be a reasonably powerful support champion that is going to gain a lot of popularity in the coming weeks. Let's get started. The main reason for the emergence of Trundle's support have been the recent buffs, specifically adding a better knockup to his pillar, which gave him a diverse and powerful tool as a support champion. As well, the main reason why it got played in LCS is due to how Trundle is a very dominant counterpick versus a fairly large amount of champions. Due to his pillar, he does an amazing job of shutting down champions that have an engage where they just run at you and try to get into melee range with a lot of movement speed but no gap closer. Champions like Udyr, Singed, and more specifically Olaf, as well as being a great counter to Sivir compositions, has made him great in this meta. In addition, Trundle does a good job versus immobile AD carries, since his pillar is a strong knockup due to its high range and the long lasting duration of 6 seconds, which allows him to shut down an immobile AD carry quite effectively and make them vulnerable to the rest of his team. His ultimate also gives him a crazy powerful tool versus tanks by being able to steal their armor and magic resistance by 40%, which brings something to the table that no other support can provide. And due to the slow on his Q, his kiting potential is quite good, especially if you can land a nice pillar, and the high range allows him to pull off some surprisingly decent engages as well. And the pillar can pull off some crazy shenanigans in certain choke point areas, or if you can lock someone next to a wall, and can often serve as a powerful AoE crowd control tool in teamfights, or as a tool to create picks. And it also lets you pull off some pretty solid ganks mid, allowing you to have presence on the other areas of the map. So his utility and crowd control is really powerful and certainly good enough for a competitive support pick, mostly since his pillar is just such a ridiculously versatile tool. However, his laning phase can be a bit tough at times since he doesn't have any ranged damage abilities apart from his ultimate, so you do rely a lot on being able to pillar your opponent and then just run up to them. So if they can disengage easily, or if you're playing versus a mobile AD carry, it can be quite tough if you can't use your pillar to stop their jump, which you might actually be able to sometimes, especially if you're experienced on Trundle, but baiting out the jump in the first place so you can stop it with a pillar can be tough since you get kited easily easily if you can't stick to the enemy AD carry. So his laning phase can be rough, but due to his nice sustain, it's not too bad, and he's actually really good at taking either Gromp or Krugs at level 1, and can do so with minimal HP loss, so you can really get that nice early advantage. His 2v2 fight can honestly be strong sometimes as well, if you can run up to the enemy's face and stick to them, since his Q is going to lower the enemy AD by 10 and so it goes quite a long way to reduce their damage, especially since Trundle is reasonably tanky. His late game scaling is also quite strong since he scales off the opponent's items due to his ultimate, and the armor and MR shred in teamfights tends to be quite unexpected and is great versus both bruisers and tanks. And so although he might be weak in lane and can definitely get bullied out, he more than makes up for it in other areas and brings a decent amount of things to the table that no other support can provide, and has definitely proven to be strong enough to be a meta pick, and with a 54% win rate in ranked solo queue at the moment, Trundle support is proving to be quite a powerful option. And that just about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit that like button to help support me, as well as you can check out some of my other videos on the screen too. And definitely subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.